Welcome to Sekiro Stealth Guide. Stealth can be extremely beneficial for every Sekiro player, especially ones struggling with deflections or combat in general. It is easy to perform stealth takedowns and vanish due to enemy AI being really bad. Stealth kill means no fighting required, which means no damage taken, which means no gourds or pellets consumed, which means... Okay, that's enough. You get the point. Rush both suppress kills as soon as possible. With them stealth becomes even easier to pull off. Let's start with some basics. Most important thing for stealth is to stay out of sight. This is done by pressing crouch button, hugging walls, crawling through bush or just having any kind of object breaking line of sight between you and your victim. Note that whenever you take an action, be it stealth attack, unhugging the wall, running, jumping, using grappling hook, Wolf automatically stops crouching. So if you want to stay stealthy, make sure to go into crouching stance after performing any action by pressing left analog stick. Also always try to lock on to target before attempting stealth kill, so that Wolf doesn't attack with sword instead. Without suppressed sound, enemies can hear you if you move too fast close to them, even when crouched. With suppressed sound acquired, crouching becomes optional, as long as enemy cannot see you. There are also various little objects like pots and branches that can snap when you walk over them. Pay attention to that because it will alert enemies. Scouting is highly recommended when entering new location. Two things you should look out for, higher ground like rooftops you could get to and enemy archers and gunmen. They are usually on higher ground themselves, so taking them out first can make your life a lot easier. Higher ground enables drop stealth kill, which is a great way to take out an enemy before anyone could do something about it. When both suppressed kills have been obtained, stealth becomes much faster. You can constantly do hit and run tactic until everyone has been picked off. Enemies will search for you, but as long as you go to higher ground or anywhere else they cannot go, they will eventually stop pursuit. Also do not worry about leaving bodies behind. Enemies don't care about that. Icon above enemy head indicates how aware are they of your presence. As long as it is not red you can stealth kill them. Red enemies are tougher to shake off because they will go at you even on higher ground. They might not be able to reach you but will still be in ready stance in case you get down again. In this case you should try going away from them as far away as possible and that should reset awareness meter. As you might have seen in some of my boss guides, stealth can be used to take full health bar of mini bosses before even starting the fight. Very useful because some of them can be nasty. Last thing to cover are items. Three items are useful for stealth. Ceramic shards are great at distracting enemies. With it you can shuffle their position and make them come to you for an easy stealth kill. Ash makes enemies unable to act, which gives you plenty of time to run and hide or kill them easily. I like to use Ash when going for two enemies that are close together. One is going to spot me when doing stealth kill, so easy way to deal with that is to throw Ash to distract him and then act accordingly. Last item is sugar that gives suppressed skills. 
I don't know if this stacks with the ones you can purchase, but it is useful before you are able to purchase Suppress Sound in Presence. It also lasts for quite a long time, but it is rare, at least in early game. For the end, I'm gonna leave one full clip of clearing one location of enemies with stealth only, just to show you what can be done. As for the guide itself, this is it, I hope this helps. Thank you for watching and see you soon.